everyone, it's Sarah with RegisteredNurseRN.com and today we're going to go over how to measure the PR interval on an EKG strip. In my previous videos, we went over how to interpret EKGs, we've also went over how to calculate the QRS complex, and how to count the heart rate using the 6 second rule. So today we're going to cover the PR interval. Now before we get started, we're going to have to lay some foundation work so you'll understand how to measure the PR interval. First, let's go over the PR interval. What is the PR interval and what does it represent? The PR interval measures AV conduction time. And a normal PR interval is 0 0.12 to 0 0.2 seconds long. Whenever you're measuring your PR interval on an EKG strip, it's really important you pay attention to see what the measurements are and that it measures normal. Because if not, it could represent a heart block, which we'll be covering heart blocks in, in my other videos. And how you measure this is through the squares on the EKG strip. On your EKG strip, you have your PQRS, and behind that in the background are squares. Those squares tell so much about what's going on with that heart rate. And each square represents a fraction of time. This right here is a large square. And in the large square, you have a lot of small squares. And that's what we're paying attention to in the PR interval. You want to pay attention to the small squares. And a normal PR interval, as we said, is 0.12 to 0.20 seconds, which represents three to five small squares. So when you're measuring that, which we'll do a little bit later, you want to make sure that your PR interval measures within three to five small squares like this. And how you start measuring is you start measuring at the beginning of your P wave until the beginning of the QRS complex. And right here behind me, I have a sample PQRS complex. It's blown up so you can see it better. You have your P wave, your Q, RS complex, then you have your T wave and sometimes a U wave is present. So when you measure the PR interval, you're going to start at the beginning of the P wave, which is represented by this line here, and you're going to stop at the beginning of where the QRS starts. So, so you'll be measuring from here to here. And when you're measuring, you're looking at your small blocks, which is the background blocks behind the EKG strip, and making sure that it measures between three to five blocks. So let's give it a try. Okay, we have our sample EKG, and so let's test our knowledge to see if we can measure the PR interval. So remember, the PR interval, where we're looking for three to five small boxes, and we're gonna count at the beginning of the P wave to the beginning of the QRS complex. So behind us, we have a sample. It's blown up, as you can tell, so you can see from the video the boxes. These boxes represent the small boxes because remember you have large boxes with little small boxes in between. So these are small boxes. So very first thing you want to do is you want to find your P wave. P wave is right here and you want to look for the beginning of it which is right here. That's the beginning of our P wave. So we're going to start with this box. Then we're going to find the beginning of our QRS complex. And this is our Q wave, and we know that this is our QRS. So what we're going to do is we're going to mark the beginning of the QRS, which is right here. Now all we have to do is count, and we're going to count how many boxes are in between those two measurement points. And we have one, two, three. Remember, each box represents 0 0.04 seconds. So 0 0.04 times 3, because there's three boxes, equals a PR interval of 0 0.12 seconds. And this PR interval is normal, because remember, any PR interval between 0 0.12 to 0 0.20 is normal. Anything over that, over that, you may have a heart block. So that is how you measure the PR interval. Please check out our other videos on how to measure the QRS complex, an explanation on the PQRS way, and how to interpret other EKG rhythms. And be sure to go to our website, registerednursrn.com, to take free quizzes on testing your knowledge on this EKG thing, stuff and NCLEX quizzes. And thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel.